The Secret Recipe. Civilians gathered at Lake Silverwave were talking about a new restaurant in town. Have you been to that new place? I hear the food there is spectacular. You can't even imagine. It tastes like heaven. I don't think a bowl of soup could knock me over like that. Was it that amazing? Uh, maybe I should try it too. You'd better. The great Alamon went there once and would not stop raving about it. It's kindness plus three. This is a four page part. So let's begin. Page one is in Lake Silverweave, like they just said. Wrong drop down. Right here, right in the center of town. So let's pop up here. Sky Dome. Universal Storage. What did I get that went in Universal Storage? The port is getting pretty crowded. Power. Ooh, arming card. Claim currency. Thank you. I'll, I'll take it. Finally, something that is ring true. Roster card catalog. Enhance. You cannot enhance. We got no money. So, let's go get this first. I met Lenora in the forest the other day. I wonder if a scene. Ooh, investigate this thing. It's a box. Oh, a noisy, trembling stone. The secret recipe. Let's see if we can't get away from these talking people. The soundstone vibrates and plays a conversation from the past. You floppy ear jerks. All I wanted was some ruby fish. Is that too much to ask? Do you even know who I am? I'm Alamon, the world's greatest chef. Hey, mister. What? You scarily scoundrel. Need help? How are you going to help? Wait. Stand your hand. Where did you get that? That's almost impossible to find. Want it? Not the fins, you fool. Where did you get that? Give me a hand with the bambris and I'll catch all of these you want. The stone has run out of energy. Perhaps there's, there are more soundstones around Brambury Village. Alright, Brambury Village. We have company. There's another soundstone. <laughs> stir, stir, spin and stir. And now decision time. There's now, one. What should I have to eat? Noise of trembling stone. Secret recipe two of four. The sound vibrates and plays a conversation from the past. This it's so ridiculous that I don't know where to begin. You drattled fish scales. You think this is food? This is hog fodder. Don't you have any brains at all? Yo. Said you're a famous chef? Learn how to cook. You dattered fool. Are you really going to get me some ruby fish? Depends on yo. Alright. Alright, I'll give you my secret recipe. First, I need some ingredients. What's the most delicious fruit in Rondell? Snowberries and Elwyn Shade. Then bring them to me. I uh, doesn't wanna. You crazy? No. I must calm down. Calm down. Who? You foolish scares. Go before I kick you in the butt. Sound has run out. Energy. There might be more soundstones in Elswin Shade. Let's go to Elswin Shade then. It's all the way down at the bottom. See if we can't find it. I think it was right out here. There it is. Noisy trembling stone. The secret recipe three of four. Soundstone is stuck in the tree's root. It plays a conversation from the past. Mister, what brought you to Rondell? Ruby fish. I heard it tastes amazing. What about you? Why do you want to cook all of a sudden? I want to cook for my friends. You scales have friends too, huh? 
Don't want your friends. They'll always betray you one day. He's hard as the snowberries. Have hope. Good. That now. What the? Where did these civilians come from? These berries are as mighty precious. Been as wins, only the queens can eat them. He <laughs> he. What? Then why did you run? You fool. Ugh. He <laughs> he. You're so fast. Sandstone has run out of energy. There might be another soundstone near the Lake Silverweave fishing spot. Lake Silverweave, you say? Fishing spot is up here. The north. Move James. Before we get that, we got four minutes. We can stop for a piece of iron ore. Stone. Let's hope we can get it within the four minutes. Back over and get it, get it, get it. And there's a trim of no stone. There we go, we got it. The secret recipe for four. Soundstone sits in a corner, it plays a conversation from the past. A lot of things have happened. This is your fault. You dreaded fish scales. Our lesson is over now. I've got gotten much better at cooking because of you, mister. Dread, I've never taught anyone like this before. Thank you, see he. My friends would love this hard grub. Then I'll catch some ruby fish for you. Forget it. Why not? Nothing. I'll just come back later and get it for myself. You should use what you know to open a restaurant. A restaurant? Ugh. I'm getting used to your stupid dialect. Yes. And you might as well open a big one. You want to let your friends enjoy your food, don't you? Then you need money. And money doesn't grow on trees. But nuts do. Are you? Huh. Never mind. Anyway, if you want to cook, then open a restaurant so you can make enough money to feed your friends and parents. Got it? Gosh, I can't believe I've wasted months of my time on this knucklehead. We got three kindness. This is the place that they're all talking about. This is the first restaurant that Alamo sent a standing greet to. Besides, the cook here is a bamboo. How on earth did Alamon get close to Bambris? Inside the crowded restaurant, a young Bambris man was delivering food to tables with a bright smile on his face. Next to the entrance stood a wreath, whose ribbons had a message written on it that said, To my small, smelly friend in Rondell, good luck. Very nice. And that's that. I gotta go find these two stories. And maybe I need to do this one and get that last mocha seed. I'm not sure if I'll make one on the mocha seed or not. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. 